This video is sponsored by PotonStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCG code cards. They are compatible with TCG Live and you can of course get everything on the website for 5% off using the coupon code ZAPDOISTCG. This video is also sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to uh, buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day and you can do it as well. And you can use the referral name ZAPDOISTCG to help support the channel. This video is also sponsored by YourPlayMat.com. Uh, this is a platform where you're able to, of course, create your own custom playmat. They have, of course, uh, capabilities to ship worldwide and you can get 10% off by clicking the link down below. So definitely check it out. Last but not least is Dragon Shield, the best brand to protect your beautiful cards you can of course uh yeah there's links down below for us and european people and you can of course get your best quality uh, sleeves uh, available as well as deck boxes and binders thanks so much for sticking around with the commercials i hope you enjoyed today's upload if you do be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button and uh, yeah let's get this video going What's up, YouTube? It's TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. On this channel, you get daily Pokemon TCG uploads, so be sure to hit that subscri subscribe button so you don't miss out. And uh, yeah, today, Regigigas V star up on the menu, a deck that actually got day two twice at the San Antonio Regionals. Big shout out to Matthew Strayford as well as Nathan Strayford. Both getting top 64 with Regigigas V star. Who would have thought? I thought this uh, was a bulk card, but yeah. Uh, Gigi, Giga Impact 230, you can power it up thanks to the means of Trinity Nova of an Arceus V Star and Star Guardian. Is that once in a lifetime V Star power when the opponent has one prize card remaining and you have a new Star Birth, which would be weird? You're gonna be using this uh, to discard one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That could be very crazy with Iono Path, Star Guardian, and then attacking something. It could be, it could be a thing. Let's see if we can figure it out to end today's video. But more importantly, Regigigas V-Star can get, uh, like, has a high amount of hit points. That means if you KO something against Charizard, they cannot, like, instantly go Vitality Band KO, which is very good, I suppose. There's Arcus V-Star, uh, Star Birth, get any two cards from the deck, so bust it. And then Trinity Nova, 200 instantly, and then uh, accelerating three energies from the deck. You might think, why is Zacian V in here? Well, uh, the thing is, Roar of the Sword can help if you miss your turn one energy attachment. So there's Psychic Energies in here, seven of them. And that could also help, maybe sometimes you attack with uh, the Radiant Alakazam. There's Raihan in here, so you can get this off in one turn. Same goes for Mew EX and the Genome Hacking. You can go for Raihan into DTE into Genome Hacking, which is crazy. We have Beep Barrel for draw support uh, with the help of the Scovit. Uh, we all know how good Scovit can be to uh, re, uh, yeah, refresh your hand if it's uh, yeah, a little bit clunked up. And then there's also Jirachi protecting your weak HP 1 prices from stuff like Sableye, maybe Medicham even to a certain degree. And uh, for for supporter wise, a high amount of Iona, a high amount of boss. It's like four offs, both of these. And then we have a little bit of Chair and Scare, Avery, and the Raihan, as mentioned. Uh, more importantly, three copies of Path to the Peak. It's gonna have definitely help out. And I did see this deck in action on stream, so I wanted to be make a video about this because these are like unique decks, and I'm all the way for uh yeah. The innovation that some people bring to the table so uh, if you guys are having a great time let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button and without further ado let's have some adventures with Arceus in my opinion Arceus has died off a tiny little bit let's be honest has a tough time against Maridon has a tough time against Mew VMAX has a tough time against Charizard Gardevoir so Arceus isn't that uh, yeah tier 1 deck that we all know and love anymore. Currently I think it's a tier 3 deck but that's alright. We'll figure out together if we're able to win some games. Uh, I will gonna go first with an Arceus deck, right? So what do we want? Arceus and an attach of turn. That's all we need. So also this deck is not playing VIP passes so you don't have to worry about like Oh, I, I whiffed the VIP pass. Uh, no, no issues with that. Uh, let's go. We have an Arceus and an energy. We won the game, right? That's how it goes. Uh, okay, it looks like we're up against Guardi. And we even get two mulligans with that. That's actually pretty great. Uh, against Guardi, uh, we're going to uh, yeah take these mulligans, of course. Arceus V Star already. All right, let's see. We're up against a Scream Tail. That's uh, interesting. No DTE, so I'm gonna actually gonna go for attachment on the Arceus. We're gonna be going for that Nest Ball, uh, getting ourselves. There are some couple of low HP Pokemon. We're definitely gonna be going for Bosses orders. I think I'll be is is our Regigigas V Star prize, but the video is all about Regigigas V Star. Okay, uh, so it's gonna be Bidoof, I suppose. Uh, Be Barrel. Scovid is also in here. Yeah. Uh, we could also set up Jirachi. There's a lot of like weak HP Pokemon, but uh, this also could help. We don't have Manaphy, right? So that's like the tricky part. One prize Pokemon. Regigigas. 
uh, let's just get one little uh, one little fella of these. We can uh, chair and scare. So I'm actually just gonna get out another Arceus here because our good friend uh, Regigigs V Star is uh, lurking around in the prize cards uh, for all we know. So we have access to Box of Disaster. It's gonna be a very great piece, and then a lot of double turbo energies. Let's get this. Save our Ultra Ball for the uh, the barrel. Okay, it's an Arceus deck. Let's go. Our hands is okay, but it could get Ionoid, I'm well aware of that. I could have also used uh, the Ultra Ball to uh, dig a little bit more and try to find other pieces, but this is fine. I think I want to be finding with the Star Birth, I think I'll go for Star Birth, That's, uh, that thing is clear. Uh, I'll try to go for balls, 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 balls. That's going to be my game plan against Gardevoir, is bossing up all the Ralts, bossing up all the Curlia, and just be content with that. A professor's research, look at that. Already two energies, actually one psychic energy in the discard, that's fine, but they're gonna have two with the Screamtail. They're gonna retreat, they're gonna go from you, they're gonna try and find battle VIP pass, and they're gonna be disappointed when they find a super rod. No, <laughs> of course they find VIP pass. What am I saying? Uh, opponent always has everything. Uh, maybe an Avery is a little bit better here, but then they're just gonna get rid of some, uh, we can rope and then Avery. But if we rope, we will have to find... Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have to go... Uh, an Avery here is definitely not bad. A Boss's Orders is also not bad. I think Boss's Orders are better than Avery's currently, because then they just get rid of Screamtail and Raiding Granger. I'll think... I'll go for Boss Spamming. I'm, I'm fine with that. They currently are... They also get rid of the uh, Reversal Energy there, so I'm actually not too worried about this. Star Birth, and we will get out... DTE and do we get path out so Greninja is blocked away how many did they have stadiums they had, didn't have any stadiums quite yet and we also need to boss spam but there's also escape rope I think they were, they're, they're definitely gonna go for Iono here let's be honest uh, we can we can get the box of disaster throne in here as well because we do have Charon Scarras yeah maybe that's actually not too bad if they get the YOLO one shot the YOLO one shot then we are a little bit more protected Let's go with this. Let's go with that. Let's go for the Ultra Ball. The Escape Rope is actually a pretty great card here. The Iono as well. Uh, let's get rid of... I think I'll get rid of both the, the Escape Rope. Yeah, I'll get rid of the Escape Rope here. Let's just go with this. Get the Barrel thrown up in the mix. And either way, we can go for Chair and Scare. Or uh, we can go for another boss. Let's see. Uh, we have a Raihan as well. We can scove it, empty that hand. That's actually not too bad. We have the Raihan. We can make use of that. Uh, Trinity Nova activation. Knocking out the Ralts. And uh, yes, we will accelerate. Do we get accelerate three energies? Probably not, right? Because uh, we still have access to DTEs. We could get randomly one shot at here, but we still have DTEs left. Interesting, but we also cleaned the deck with that, and we have Raihan as well. So I think I'll just accelerate all these energies. Yeah, I want to set up a Regigigas V Star, uh, but the Regigigas V Star is priced, and then it's it's fine regardless. I'm actually going to be using Ultra Ball to evolve this Arceus, or maybe Chair and Scare, depending on what the situation is. Let's see what we get. It's an Arceus V Star, perfect. So we Arceus V Star, we get out Scovit. And then we be barrel and try to find either boss or chair and scare. Depends on what they throw at us because the box, the box of disaster definitely helps out if they want to rely on Shining Arcana. And they currently have their reversal in the discard pile. Depends on how many reversals they're playing. I also didn't slap down Path because I think Path is stronger with an Iono. And we still have access to Avery as well as a supporter. So we have the box of disaster, we have the B-barrel. Uh, can, they could technically. Uh, rare candy, guard of war, and then scream till our B-barrel. That is uh, yeah, definitely scary. That could happen, you never know. Uh, but yeah, as mentioned, this is Arakiz's redemption video. Uh, I know Regigi's Vsar is also part of the video, but currently it is uh, lurking around the prize card, so that is not our fault. <laughs> Destiny has other ways. So they do promote Rawls. Interesting, they didn't promote Mew from Celebration, so I wonder what their game plan is here. Uh, maybe they slap a little bit with Guardi EX and try to hope we do shove, but we have Charon's Care as well. Maybe then and retreat and then collapse. Interesting. Maybe they run away because we use boss's orders on the rolls and they say like, No, I cannot handle this. 
that could also be a situation. But this, as you see, the Arceus B barrel line easily sets itself up. You can go for Star Birth, get the puzzle pieces necessary, and then B barrel draws through the deck. And with the four copies of Boss, I think, and the Box of Disaster as well, I think you have a reasonable shot at Gardevoir. I think so. Unless, yeah, I think I think this is actually not too bad. And I think the opponent just ran away because they saw the box of disaster and they said like, nope, not feeling that one. And they did run away. As mentioned, yeah, the opponent didn't do anything. So they're idle. So it's actually cool. Let's go uh, this over here. Uh, we don't need anything else. So uh, I think I'll just go for a Nastash. Let's go. Nastash. Yeah, but the opponent clearly run away here. We don't run Lost City as well, so I might just slap this down as well so they cannot Cresselia. And then we go for uh, Industrious Incisors. Let's go. Draw. Yeah, there's a path. Path is strong. Uh, we slap down the path. Uh, could slap down this because, yeah, not really because the, the Box of Disaster is too great and we can share and scare. So, yeah, that's pretty much how the deck functions. Uh, unfortunately, the opponent ran away, so... I don't know what the deal is here, but they will definitely concede very shortly. But imagine if they got like a couple of Curlias out. Let's just imagine that. We would have not gotten the Boss of Zord, so we would have gotten two prize cards already currently. And then they will have to respond and maybe pop the Box of Disaster, which is pretty bad. They cannot use Cresselia because of uh, Jirachi. And uh, maybe they Screamtail, but that's not going to be doing too much. Maybe they could actually get to be better, but price raise wise this deck actually is not too bad to set itself up, but I'm still afraid of what it does against anything else in the format. If you, are you guys fan of Arceus? Let me know down below in the comment section because we do uh, keep Arceus V-Star uh, after rotation. Uh, as you all know, it actually got released in Brilliant Stars with, uh, I don't know which regulation mark this is, it's an F regulation mark and uh, we will lose the E regulation mark. So maybe I'll be making some videos about cards we're losing and the E regulation mark. So that's going to be a very interesting video as well. But uh, yeah, the opponent is... Uh, Running away, they saw a box of disaster and they uh, it spelled disastrous news. Even though the opponent had like uh, a couple of energies in the discard already, yeah, <laughs> the opponent is gone. But I would have gone our way regardless uh, because we had a great setup. If Arcus can get turn one energy attachment and um, you can uh, actually respond with a boss uh, and the Trinity Nova there, like maybe this deck also could uh, benefit from a lost city. Like, the Lost City is also something that could help with this deck, but currently there's like three paths in here. I think that's a great way. Um, you can make sure the opponent is not able to use abilities. But on the other hand, you don't have a counter... Yeah, you don't have the vacuum. Yeah, you have the vacuum to get rid of uh, an opposing path. So you could use Star Birth if uh, the, the turn one path comes down, which happens against stuff like Giratina. And now that like, Giratina also has been seeing some more conversion rate. I don't know how to feel about this Arceus deck. Okay, so this time around we will be going second. So what we would preferably want is an Arceus with a double turbo energy. Oh, the opponent also has Arceus leaves. All right, let's go. Okay, we don't have, we literally have nothing. We have not, we have a Bidoof, but that's where the party ends. Uh, a big Reggie Gigas in the act. We do have escape rope, I guess. <clears throat> okay, we're up against Charizard. That's uh, a very scary matchup. Yeah, actually, this was uh, the the deck that uh, this Red Gigas uh, deck faced in the on the stream match. So yeah, opponent is going first as well. Yo, we can roar the sword, get an energy onto Red Gigas V. So they have VIP. But I think I don't know how to feel about this deck. This deck, literally, if you don't have turn one Arceus, yeah, I don't even have turn one energy. Although we have roar of the sword, we will definitely need to find an Arceus. Or a draw supporter, or the game ends right on the spot. Uh, luckily, they do set up a Rotom there. They retreat into the Mew as well. They have, like, the perfect setup. And we just have Reggie Gigas V. How in the world are we able to win with... And uh, they already have Candy. So this is getting scary. They can Rotom as well. We have Bidoob and Scovid, and that's where the party ends. We could slap down Zacian for the turn one energy, but... Okay, Ultra Ball. We are saved. We are saved. I'm ultra balling away this, this. Let's go. I'll slap down Arceus. I will have to get the, the Zastian on the field, which is super annoying. I'm also gonna check real quick. We have access to three path to the peak, box of disasters, I suppose. Is Regigigas V Star and <laughs> it's prized again? Are you for real? Uh, this is so annoying. So we have to go with this. Have to go with this. To go with 
They can hit this Gigas V, I, I don't care. This one, and then we Aurora of the Sword. Get the energy. So at least you can get energies thanks to the means of that. Maybe I should have uh, promoted with the Bidoof, but I didn't want my Bidoof get knocked out instantly. Uh, we will have to respond with um, an attack with Arceus V-Star. Try to set up another Arceus V-Star and go for the Iono Ampath. Yeah, they can have vacuums. They can have counter stadiums. I think this deck clearly has a bad Charizard matchup because if they can get like all their setup going, it's going to be very bad. Attachment on Charmander. Nazbo. Who's going to go to come to town? It is... PG number two, sure. Uh, what I'll be doing here is uh, using, okay, Insta Charge, that's perfect, that's perfect. We are still in the game. That's nice. Uh, choice Belt, we can knock out Rotom. But then we have taken two prize cards and they can go crazy, but they can also collapse away this, so that's pretty interesting. Um, Arceus V-Star. Time for an escape rope. They don't know we have Choice Belt, so maybe they give us the Rotom. No, they give a PG up, sure. We'll go with this. Charizard will have the two shot, but they can still go after these two prizers on the bench, which is super annoying. Uh, I'm gonna have to star birth here, but uh, we can always, let's see here. We get DTE, that's for sure. And then a box of disasters. We're gonna have to go for boss or so maybe it's not bad getting the B barrel out. Like this is, we can knock out the Rotom here. I don't know if it's the best strategy in the world, but at least we will be taking prize cards, which is the main goal here. There's like a couple of two prizes here, but that's fine. And B Barrel, let's go. There's a path. Slapping down the path. Nazball getting an Arceus. There's Jet Energy, there's Vacuum, Vacuum's not too useful. Like, there's a lot of two prizes, you're gonna have to boss, boss, boss here. Maybe they're gonna go for Arvin, maybe they don't. I think I'll try to set up two Arceus. We can set up Regigigas and Arceus here, see how it goes. Maybe they go after the Regigigas first. Uh, let's go with Trinity Nova. Bam. KO on the Rotom, and then three energies one here one here maybe one here 230 is actually a great number uh they're probably gonna go after regigigas if we do this which is great i suppose okay so we got our first two prize cards against charizard that uh looks great on paper but it's not we have iono though we have iono we can slap down a radiant alakazam Radiant Alakazam currently slaps 220 damage because of their hand size, but not gonna continue on like that. The path is still around, so I don't know if they have a stadium or not. There's Counter Catcher, that's actually a very good card. Do they have Candy Zard? There's Avery. Oh, that's great. Uh, goodbye, Zation. Yeah, that's very great. Our that Zation liability now got removed. I wonder if they can find a Charizard. Or uh, they need a Stadium Bump. Uh, Counter Catcher. That's gonna be the Barrel. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be B-Barrel. We have Jet Energy, so I don't mind this one little bit. Also, Regigigas V-Star still lurking around on the prize cards, funny enough. Path still around as well. They currently have, like, the Rare Candy and all that good stuff. We could go for an Avery, discard a couple of their resources. They clearly don't have anything quite yet, so... Uh, Radiant Alakazam here. Let's go. What does this guy has to have to offer? Angry Whack. 100 damage. 10 damage for... Uh, for each damage count of this Pokemon. This Pokemon is now confused. Why would I want to do that? Um, yeah. It's gonna have to be... An, we can Iono them. Clearly have already a lot of resources, but Avery seems better here. They have so many cards, we can Iono them later. So they did get rid of this. So now we continue on. We can Jet Energy... Sacrifice the Gigas? I don't want to sacrifice my... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for Jet Energy here. Fly myself to the active position. I'm not gonna rely on Mew EX because that's a low HP Pokemon. Ultra Ball. 
getting rid of the vacuum, probably getting rid of the Raihan as well because I will plan on using I uh, the Iono there. Another Arcus V Star coming to town. We could potentially stab down Mew EX, but it's not gonna be useful. Although we could set it up with a Raihan and then surprise him, but they're gonna go two 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 regardless. I think so. Okay, there's a boss. That could be great. Um, Trinity Nova activation. Bam! Two energies. One here. And I think about let's just put two here. These are like a little bit safer. Unless they have like the Defiance Band. Regigigas V-Star still uh, lurking around the prize cards. Where are you? Lots of boss from the prizes, but no Regigigas V-Star. It's so silly. I wanted to be using it in this video. So we're three prize card lead. Uh, I wish I had Regigigas V-Star. Uh, so I could have... Yeah, they have like 12 cards in their hand. Why can't they not find... They have Supra. I don't know what's in their hand, but I didn't want Iona when they couldn't, clearly couldn't find Charizard. And the Stadium Bump. Nazball again. What's going on? They could swing with the Zard. We have taken three prize cards, so that's 270. The Vitality Band could get them there. Okay, they retreat. They retreated the Mew again, so they are clearly like breaking like crazy. So uh, our Arceus deck here is uh, really easily setting itself up. Jet Energy is also super nice. They did retreat, so they plan to use Mew one more time. I think I'll just go for a Bossasaurus on a Charmander, so we can only have to deal with like one more Charmander. They clearly are not finding what they need. Okay, they have Ultra Ball. They can get the Charizard EX out of the way right now. There's the Zard. They did manually retreat, so uh, unless they have Jet Energy or a Switch Out, they're not attacking with that Zard anytime soon. I'm also not going to be taking this Mew because otherwise Charizard is going to be able to one-shot us. I'm actually just going to... Oh, they boss us up again. It's going to be Alakazam. No, it's going to be Gigas. Gigas, uh, that's kind of annoying. How much damage are we dealing out in Vitality Band there? Uh... Yo, we can Angry Whack. An Angry Whack, then they one-shot us. We have a lot of boss, I suppose. Um, Regigigas, it's time for you to shine. They clearly... We can we can take this, right? Attacking against this situation. We have double boss here as well. I think I'll just boss up the Pidgey here so they cannot like annoy us any further. Uh, we could also slap 100, it's not going to be making a difference. We're going to boss up Pidgey. We're going to Nazball to help us out with the Scovid shenanigans. Scovid is priced! Maybe uh, Spirit Tomb here is not bad here, so they cannot Luminion and uh, get Boss's orders here. That's yeah, not too bad, I'll set this up. And be barrel for one! I'm probably going to get Iono here. Regigigas! Angry Whack! Let's go. The Pidgey is gone. So no easy access. They also divided the energies there on their Zards. That's pretty interesting. Regigigas V-Star is here, but it's too late. Little too late, mate. Um, and we are confused. We can fix that with the evolution here. Uh, so if, even if they boss, we have actually a Regigigas V-Star with 300 HP. It would still go down to a Zard attack, so it's actually not too bad here. Ultra Ball. Can they find energies? Two energies in a discard pile. Two rare candies. So the Avery, I, I like the Avery in here. Definitely great. You can also chair and scare a little bit. So uh, what are they gonna do? Spirit Tomb is here. Okay, they have Collapse Stadium. Last card in their hand is Luminion, I suppose. I think I'll just get rid of the Alakazam, which could become kind of a liability, I suppose. Okay, there's a research. Come on, maybe they whip the energy. There is a universe where that happens. No, it's not. Regigigas will go down. And they've already slapped down Collapse Stadium, which means they cannot heal this Charizard unless they go for a two-row. We can boss boss, boss Charmander, and then boss Mew. Interesting scenario. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go for this Arcus, which can slap a whopping 200 damage. Now we had the Gigas V-Star and it didn't work. Um, we have boss already in hand. Uh, let's see here. How many balls in here? Two already. So I think I'll just swing on this guy. They could two row, but then you need to find candy as well. They could technically. Huh. Swing with this. 
Uh, I own them to four cards. It's also not too bad, I suppose. I think I'll slap down another Bidoof. Do we have like the other cards necessary to work with this? I'll just slap down this. I'll go for Iono. Put them to four cards and draw myself up a little bit with B-Barrel. I still have another Bosses Auras in deck, which is great. <laughs> in deck, as I see here. And uh, we just draw up, slap this, uh, Ark is a V-Star, and uh, actually slap this Charizard and see how we go from there. So 200 damage. Our other Arceus is waiting in the back to finish the job. We have boss. And it's also shuffled again, so even if we get like I own it now, we can draw into that other boss. Let's go. Okay. Charizard, you need to Turo right now without being able to tutor that out because of Pidget EX. Pidget EX, yeah. <laughs> it's the scoop. Iono, the power of Iono right there in the opponent's face. And uh, that's indicating that Arceus V Star can definitely become uh, a viable deck. I haven't used uh, the Regigigas V-Star, but it's just there because of its high hit points, right? I, I wouldn't see any other reason to include uh, the Regigigas V-Star over any other, like, colorless V-Star or V-Max Pokemon. It's also a 2 price Pokemon that has 300 HP. That could definitely help. Uh, we got dubs here, so uh, the deck clearly is doing something right. Big shout out again to Machu Straightforward as well as Nathan Straightforward. Um, they actually got both top 64 with the same 60. So that's pretty cool. I thought like the only way to play like Arceus was like with Duraludon or Umbreon and Lost Cities, but clearly just have some lags to it. Okay. I will go first and I will get my Arcus. I will get my energy and I will slaughter the opponent. That's like the things you want, right? Arcus energy. No! <laughs> no! Why does that always happen? It's a Mew. We have an Arcus. Maybe they. Ultra Ball. I don't think it's the same opponent, right? I'm gonna have to get rid of these. I'm gonna slap down. We have an Arceus, but like we're up against Charizard again. Bah. That's bad. We're up against Charizard again. I guess we have time. Go with this. Uh, we can slap down Path instantly so they cannot Luminia, but then we're losing our Arceus V Star power. I'll, 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 I guess I'll wait. Yowza. Okay, it's gonna have to be Path. Yeah, we can Arcus V Star. We don't even have an energy. Could have Nastash for like YOLO and energy, but then you lose regardless. I think this opening is very bad. You might think when there are so many ball engines and so many energies that you don't wish you uh, miss your turn one energy attachment, but clearly I am wrong. Okay, it's a Guardi. Okay. Guard of War. Again, hopefully this opponent will not run away. <laughs> We have the boss, we, we clearly, it would have been way better if I had that turn one energy attachment. Energy drops are so important with Arceus V-Star. What would I get? We use Arceus V-Star, get DTE and Iono. Slap down path, go for Iono. Go from there? I guess? Yeah, the Nastash little fella in the active definitely doesn't help. We do have Raihan, but they're not able to get a KO early on. They're attaching onto the Mew manually. Yo. How do we fix this issue? Arceus V-Star. Get. Now, yeah, our turn. Okay, let's see. So many balls. It's crazy. Okay, Arceus V-Star. I will go Starburp. I'm actually not gonna get the DTE out this time around. I think I will just get Iono and then the rope. Iono and rope. Yeah. Actually, Iono and Jet Energy seems great as well. We have four DTE, so what are the odds of us whipping that? But I, I want to like, get that Mew out of the active. Let's just try and hope the opponent bricks like this. So, Path. Escape Rope. We will definitely find an energy drop, right? Let's go. And all these cards go down to the bottom of the deck. Maybe we even get to establish uh, a Bidoof here. Yeah, there's the DTE, as mentioned. Uh, so, DTE here. Hmm, Mew EX. 
put the DTE on the Mew EX and then go for Moonlight Shuriken with the Balsasaurus. We don't have Balsasaurus, but you see where we're going with this. Uh, Nazball, get myself Bidoof. Is our Regigigas V-Star in here? Regigigas V-Star is in here, but again, probably gonna be better off with a Bidoof. Get that DTE over here. Good Alakazam, but I think... <sighs> hmm. Alakazam is great to like lower down the power of an Arcana, I guess. We end the turn, okay. So, we have established ourselves. It's only a turn earlier. Actually, a turn later. They can teleportation bird. No, they retreat. They go for the Mew once again. Try to set themselves up. I'm gonna try and find Balsa's orders. Path is also still down, so Radiant Greninja. Oh, Mew. Mew with the whiff. Mew with the classic mysterious whiff. Ah, that's hilarious. The Iona just sticking around like a mad man. Okay, an energy here. We Ultra Ball. We're gonna find Balsa's orders, right? Uh, get rid of. This could get trapped with Scream Tail Shenanigans. I'll get rid of this. I'll get rid of I love to use this with Raihan, but let's be honest, in this battle, it's not... we, we need to find boss here. That's our main plan of action. So, B Barrel, slapping down the Radiant Chalakazam, even though I cannot use it because of Path. They clearly will bump the Path at one point. We boss up uh, Rolls, set up another B Doof. Because we can, and uh, you can even nest dash, but we have a second B barrel. So, but if we nest dash, we actually might find a Pokemon to Trinity Nova on. I'll nest dash against my uh, goodwill. <laughs> it's a Jirachi, not what I need. Uh, yeah, Trinity Nova, pff, get out of here. Yeah, we could have gotten like double B barrel out, but I wanted to find a Pokemon so I can Trinity Nova onto it. And also, we have a we're digging a little bit deeper for another boss because that's gonna be. Clearly what we're after, so I'm gonna nest stash, go for B-Barrel, find boss, kill that Ralts. Maybe they Mirage Tap here, maybe they don't. M Mysterious Whiff. Yeah, they now they find Ultra Ball, so they could clearly get the Mirage Tap activated. And that could become clearly very bad. You can also go for an Avery. Also, for all we know, there's like two uh, refinements prized, which I really hope so. Okay, there's the Mirage Tap. They're clearly doing exactly what they need to get themselves out of this situation. They clearly don't have a lot of cards in hand either. And we need the Box of Disaster currently. How do we find that? We can Iono for it. Maybe we Beeps first, because there's a lot of cards on the bottom of the deck that are not the cards we need. Okay, Mirage Tap. Two. Not three. Don't be the guy getting three Curly out. Two. Two is fine. I'll take it. We need to find boss to get rid of one of the Curly Outs right there. Okay, we have an Arcus. That's great. We can Beeps first. Maybe find boss. If not, it's gonna have to be an Iono. We have Box of Disaster. That's crazy. Uh, box. DTE. And we clearly don't have boss. We can like nest dash into boss. I don't want to Iono the opponent knowing that they only have four cards in hand. So I I will just nest dash and you'll find boss just uh, the way it is. <laughs> it's an ultra ball. That's fine, I suppose. Uh, Trinity Nova. At least we have the box of disaster. So if they want to respond, they could KO themselves. Uh, one, two, three. Did we get all of them? Mm, oh, what am I saying? No, we only need one. <laughs> Not going overboard here. It, it already had a DTE. Okay, second prize card, Box of Disaster found, which is crazy good. And we have an Ultra Ball for a second Arcus V-Star, then B-Barreling for either Boss. The Box of Disaster puts 8 damage counters on the attacking Pokémon if they actually um, knock us out with full HP. A Forest Seal Stone! Yowza! There is a target on the opponent's bench which we can KO with a Regigigas Regi V-Star, yeah. With a Choice Bell, we can also slap 210, making it stuck for a turn. Because they can only attach once, they cannot get out of the active, they cannot like Psychic Embrace onto it, so there are options and that Zacian can get, uh, get us two prize cards. They can also, how many energies do they already have in their discard pile? Five! Oh, they would need more to KO with Zacian. I think they need around... Is it eight? Uh, 
Yeah. It is eight energies that they need in their discard pile to attack. Or eight energies on the Zacian V. And it uh, looks like uh, Charizard and Garver, even though like, I wrote off Arceus initially, it is doing its job to actually win. And Regigigas V Star clearly doing nothing. We did attack with it once to eat up a Pidgey, but that's where it ends. You could just say this is a pure Arceus with like a random 1 1 Regigigas V Star. You don't get any en energies. Do they have reversal energy? Don't forget that path is still down. Uh, Avery. Get rid of this. And Scovid. Double B Barrel. Scovid. Yeah, I'm actually gonna get rid of Scovid. I've actually won Double B Barrel. Double B Barrel seems nuts. Depends on if Arceus survives here. I don't know. Low HP Pokemon were removed. Alakazam got removed. Don't even know what the use is of the Alakazam. I don't know against which matchups you're using it. Maybe you can use against this, but that like, path is down. So you always want path down, so Alakazam was pretty useless. Ralts. Too curly, huh? Arcana has come into town. Okay, I think the Arcana might get the KO here. With reversal, they still need five energies, and five energies is 100 damage, meaning if they attack with the Arcana, they get knocked out by Box of Disaster, which is like really hilarious. Reversal. Just a Brainwave, not even taking the KO here. Okay, maybe we can chair and scare and knock you out. That would be crazy. Uh, boss's orders. Yeah, I clearly we'll knock this out. Let's uh, all be honest here. I'm just gonna Ultra Ball here. Uh, let's get the Arceus V-Star just in case. I can get the B-Barrel as well for extra draw power, but let's be safe. Uh, if I wanted to go for the Charon Scare, maybe the second B-Barrel here would have not been too bad. Leave this as it is and attack with the... We can Charon Scare that one up. Retreating? Is that the way we go? Retreat. DTE away. Go with this. DTE here. Interesting, right? Should we set up another Arcus just in case we can chair and scare? I think it's still boss this up or counter catcher this up, but this is also damage, so it's, it doesn't matter too much. I owe no time. Yeah, no chair and scare action, unfortunately. And they really loved that, Iono, didn't they? Nazbal. Regigigas. The Regigigas. How many energies do we have left? We have two energies left. Okay, cool. We could set up a Regigigas V-Star that can easily take down the Zacian. That's actually not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Chair and scare in here, Ryan in here as well. I think I'll just get the Regigigas V-Star. Let's show it, show what it's worth. Trinity Nova. Bam. One, two, two energies. There's still jet energy in here as well. And Raihan, like one jet energy. Sure. One. If we find the jet energy, it's gonna be great. If we find, eh, it's a Regigigas V though. I'll just put it here. Okay, reversal number two away. They're definitely gonna be attacking with another one of those fellas. Okay, we have the energy. We could boss Obsession with Regigigas V Star if we happen to find it. We cannot scove it, but we do have an energy on the Regigigas V. They still need to take six prize cards, which they clearly could at this point. They can go two to two, but because Zacian is in play, we can upgrade. So that's the main issue they're dealing with right now. And they also, the box of disaster. Could be nice if like if we bought if we pick this up and put it on uh, Regigigas V Star. They need to slap 300, and in order to slap 300, they would need yeah again eight energies. Eight energies is 160 damage on them, which means the box of disaster finishes the job unless they play vacuum. Again, path is down, so 
activating their abilities will be a little bit harder. Oh, they're playing Klefki, that's pretty interesting. Six energies in their discard pile. Screamtail. I think I finished the job with a Screamtail onto Arcus V Star. Yeah, we clearly need to either find Choice Belt to boss Obsession, and it's not gonna have an energy, so it's stuck for a turn. Maybe it could, they, ha they might have two rows, so that could be still a very scary scenario. But, we'd be barreled there. And our energy on the Red Gigas V, we will be able to do some stuff. I, I think they're gonna Screamtail, maybe the Bench Pokemon, or is it in this card pile? I don't know what they did with the Screamtail here. Did nothing. One Arcana down. Yeah. Garver line coming back in deck. They could also Iono us, which would be bad because we have the energy currently in hand for Regigigas V. But we might just draw into Chair and Scare and Regigigas V Star. We'll figure it out. Ultra Ball. It's gonna be Guard of our EX. They could also still two row away to which is scary. They still have the V Star power as well. They could still uh, run away with this game. I think Gardevoir uh, historically has a great time against uh, Arceus. Brainwave. Curly, huh? What? Don't evolve. No. no. Okay. What now? They could still Reversal Energy and then boss up Arceus V-Star, I suppose? Or... Or attachment 150 and then yeah they have the reversal they need to counter catcher Arcus V star they boss it up that's fine either way our box of disaster is popped though and now there's an interesting uh, scenario here where uh, our Arcus can just KO this Gardevoir and then they need to respond with Zacian they can still counter catch trap and go with screen tail shenanigans as well okay Regigig is V star Holy moly. Hmm, should we boss up the Zacian already? Make quick work of it. Then Gardevoir eats us up. And then we boss again. How many DTEs? Three! Oh, all the DTEs are gone. That's a very scary situation. Yeah, I'll just attach here. If they want to respond with us, they're gonna put a lot of energies onto the Zacian and then we win regardless, right? Yeah. Now that I think about it, we can just... How many balls in our discard pile? Two. We can boss up Curlia, then they're not going to be able to respond. They have s five energies, that's nothing. That's clearly nothing. Yeah, that's that's very silly. Let's just boss this one up. Could slap down another one of these, I guess. The more, the merrier. We still have jet energy, so don't worry. Draw power. More path. There's the jet energy. Uh, yeah, just KO Curly on. They're not gonna be able to uh, do anything about this. Most of their energies are in the discard pile. And boss is still in there as well. Ultra Ball to tin the deck. Vacuum to tin the deck. Jaren Scare as well. That was weird. Like, they evolved into Gardevoir without having Gardevoir EX around anywhere. And uh, I, I hope I get Iono here because our hand uh, is not clearly capable of uh, finding the last boss. How many Ionos did they play? Trainers, zero Iono, yeah. Just Iono me into bosses orders. That'd be great. Or into another B barrel. It would also be great. Double B barrel. <laughs> yeah, we buy ourselves a turn here. They could attach up the turn and like counter catch her Arcus V. Maybe? But now we have access to Raihan. Don't know if that's a great idea. They could still Turo away the Zacian. Interesting. Shining Arcana, no energies. Two energies there. I think that currently there's seven energies in their discard pile. So that's like ten in total. I think if they don't find an energy here and the counter catcher were good. Should I wait it with the boss's orders? Probably not because they would have Ionoed regardless. There's a Ralt. I think counter catcher Iono is the thing that needs to happen, right? Okay, there's an artisan. They have already used ball, so they need artisan. It's a card, we can overlap with Path. There's Jet Energy if they try to trap us. There's even Avery. Hmm. 
Bath. I, I'll try to save the jet energy here. Can they have counter catcher? Will they Iono? Please Iono me. Boss? Yo, that's the craziest thing ever. Yo, they still probably have only one candy left, right? How many candies in here? Oh, they have a candy left. That's scary. Time for Regigigas V-Star. Time for the Regigigas V-Star. Okay, there's an Iono. Path Iono seems pretty strong right now. Um, Mazball. Let's dig the Spirit Tomb. Do they still have access to the V-Star? They do. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Um, I don't know if they're playing. They might play Luminion. So I'm actually just going to slap down Spirit Tomb here. I will slap down Path to the Peak. I'll save my jet energy. I still get get trapped, but on the other hand, we can draw one Balthazaurus for a game. But that's out of 11 cards. The chance of that happening is so low. I will just uh, Iono here, and they will be. Yeah, let's see which cards we draw. Let's see if it would have mattered here. Did I find boss? No, I didn't. Oh, and the vacuum on top of that. Let's go. Um, yeah, it's going to be Regigigas time. We industrious incisors. We have two vacuums, so they don't have to be mad here. Double B barrel as well. Let's go. I'm not gonna over draw here. Let's just go. Eh, maybe. Why the hell not? Time for Reggie Giga's V Star. <laughs> they are really mad, apparently. Uh, Giga Impact. Boom. And we just have to boss up a Rolf this time around. The Giga Impact. And uh, they are pathed to the peaked to two cards. And they cannot V Star. Yo. Yo, they need candy. Gardevoir, EX, and Stadium Bump. That's three cards from the three cards they currently have. They might have a supporter as well. Yo, this is a crazy game. They have research! What? What? No, I don't believe this. I don't believe this. They would still need to find... Yeah, they can literally dig their deck with them serious tail. How's Gardevoir EX doing here? Ultra Ball. Yeah, it's so scary. How are their stadium bumps here? Artisan. That's a bit... Nah, I could still lose. I could see myself losing here when the opponent finds a research from... Curlia? No Gardevoir EX. They probably have Gardevoir EX in hand. Then they refinement, then they mysterious tail, then they ensure they find their last candy, and that's the way Regigigas V Star goes down. Wow, what a nail biting game here. Rare candy. And they maybe find vacuum? Ah, oh, mysterious tail, vacuum. Nothing. Three cards in hand. Worker? No, worker, they already played a supporter. 12 energies. Oh, they have the artisan. Yeah, what am I saying? 12 energies in the disc. They have all the energies in their discard pile. So they can knock us out with the storm slash. That's hilarious. So, uh, yeah, could have gone better. That Iono really didn't stick. I thought with the vacuum power and stuff that we had it, but uh, Gardevoir clearly took the upper hand. So if you enjoyed the video, let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Still don't know how to feel about the Regigigas V Star with Arcus V Star. Uh, it's an interesting deck for sure, but uh, I don't know. I probably wouldn't play it at a big event. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG Madness. Also, go check out our sponsors, BotanStore.com, the best place for TCG live code cards. Use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% off on everything on the website. There's DragonShield.com, the best brand to protect your beautiful cards. They have sleeves, binders, and deck boxes. Link down below or use coupon ZAPDOS5 to get 5% off your order. There is uh, YourPlayMat.com where you're able to get 10% off today when uh, creating your own custom playmat. Definitely do that for the new year. New year, new playmat. That's the way I always say it. And then there's also CardMarket.com uh, for European players to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. Use the referral name ZAPDOSTCG to help support the channel. I'm out. Peace.